toward each other. I wasn't. Why are you following me? Good morning, everyone. I have a question. So when it comes to, there's a, there's a story trending. And there was a young woman who posted a video of a young man while she was in Target. And she said this young man was following her. She said that um, it had been, she had walked three different aisles and he was still behind her. And she just posted a little video and it, she said, why are you following me? And she told him to, you know, get the, get the F on. And the young man walked away. So she posted this video to TikTok and of course it trended and it has reached um, more than 1 million views. But now folks are calling her out and saying that she owes the young man an apology because he has put up his own TikTok video and he is responding. He says that he was falsely accused. Um, but again, my question is, who do you believe? Because there are several people who are now calling this young woman out saying that she needs saying she needs to apologize. But I'm just not so sure which story I'm sold on. Caught each other. I wasn't. Why are you following me? I'm not I'm looking for me. I just turned on three hours and you still behind me. Can you get the fuck on? Huh? Good afternoon. My name is Christian Huffton. I am a senior music education major from Jackson State University. I'm also the head J5 drum major of the Sonny Boom in the South. And so I'm posting this video in regards to a video that's circulating about me following some lady. And I'm here to say, that's not true. I wasn't following the lady, I was looking for a lamp. So let's get into it, right? I decided to go to Target because I needed two things. Well, actually three things. So I wanted some homecoming clothes, right? That's the one thing. Second thing is a lamp. Of course, within the homecoming clothes, I wanted a shirt, pants, whatever, and the lamp. I wanted clothes because of course it's homecoming. I want to look fly. Who don't want to look fly for their HBCU college homecoming, right? I got a, I wanted a lamp because it's like, okay, I need a lamp for my room. Like, who don't want a lamp? And all those comments talking about some, oh, men don't even shop for lamps. What if I don't shop for lamps? Like, I, I, I don't know. Anyways, I go into the store, right? I'm looking at the shirts. I'm just like, yeah, I don't really know. I'm not feeling the shirt, right? I look at the pants. I'm just like, I don't really know. So in my head, I'm just like, you know, okay, can't find a shirt, can't find the pants. I can go to somewhere like Burlington, right? Burlington is, you know, down the street and go to Burlington. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, let's go look for the lamps. I, as I'm walking for the lamps, right? I know where the lamps are at. I know which aisle is in, right? I'm walking towards the lamps. The lady is in front of me. She's walking the same direction. Of course, you know, I'm not paying no mind. I'm not really paying attention. My mind is, okay, I'm finna go get a lamp, right? I get to the aisle on the lamps. The lady turns around and she says, are you recording me? And I was like, um, no. And I showed her my phone to prove that I wasn't recording her. Like you can see like in the uh, the video that it has my lock screen, me, you know, doing my little drum major thing. And she pulled her phone out and she was like, ah, oh, since they recorded me, we can record each other. Right? So in my head, I'm like, oh my God, here it is. Go. Like, here we go. She was like, why are you following me? I was like, I'm not following you. Like I'm getting a lamp. Like literally I pointed at the lamp in the video right she was like uh well you have a five for three huh so can you get a huh so in my mind i'm just like you know what okay she already got her mind made up that i was following her so it was like you know what okay cool left it alone right Boom. chapter two couple hours later i'm at band practice mind you I already said i'm the head j5 drum major y'all already know right i'm at band practice i'm chilling looking on my phone my friend calls me she was like, hey, it's a TikTok about you. I'm like, oh, is it a TikTok with me and my drum major brother? Because, you know, we just made one, right, of us doing, like, dance movie stuff. She was like, um, no, send me the video. Tell me why this woman done posted me on TikTok. I'm like, right, so this is what we're going to do, right? So as practice is going on, people are calling me. People are like, are you good? This lady saying this, this, and that. Was you following some lady? And I'm just like, no. And so, of course, after like 20, 30 minutes, the video got deleted. I don't know what happened. I guess like folks reported it and got taken down or what. 30 minutes later, the video's back up. So now my phone is going insane. People are like, yo, Christian, you good? Like this, this lady over here saying some crazy stuff about you. And of course, I'm responding back like, no, like what the world? So, okay. 
that's the encounter, right? I'm not going, I'm trying not to make this video longer than it has to be, but I'm going to go into what I really done had to deal with in the last 96 hours, okay? So mind you, her video is damn near touching a million views right now, right? The amount of emotional damage I have suffered from this video is really crazy. Like every day, like I, I can't even, I, I wake up with something heavy on my heart. Like it's just like, bro, like that's not even me. That's not my character. I'm not out here following no one. I'm a young 22 year old college man pursuing an education far away from home. I'm not, I'm not even from here, bro. I, I stayed nine hours away from here, bro. Like I don't. I came to Mississippi for one thing, and that was a degree. And once I get this degree, I'm gone. That's it. So it's just like, err, like, I, I don't know. Like, my nerves are bad. My anxiety's bad. Of course, all y'all TikTok and people really don't care, but it's all good. All right. This video getting long. Um, Yeah, that's basically what happened. I, I'm not really expecting anyone to sit here and pick and choose a side, but I just felt like it was important for people to know my side of it in my perspective of what happened because i feel like people out here saying well i see in the comments oh he is secret shopper no i'm not no secret shopper oh he, oh, he just follow women i don't follow women okay just throw that out there and yeah but yeah i guess at the end of the video you know if you can please share this share this around hopefully this go viral i honestly don't care if it doesn't go viral but I hope this answers any questions that anyone has about this whole situation because it's, it's really a lot. Like, it's a lot. So, yeah. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Those are the two videos that are currently trending on TikTok. The video that started it all was her telling, asking him, why are you following me? And she also had accused him of recording her. He showed her his phone. He was not recording her. But she told him to, to get on and he got on. Um, and then again, he posted his response to that video and he claims that he was falsely accused. So again, my question is, who are you more inclined to believe? Because right now, you know, I I don't know who I believe. Um, because we know that African young African-American men or African-American men, period, are often falsely accused of certain things like this. Um, and we know that we live in a dangerous time and we know that as a single mother with out with her daughter she, you know she does have to be very cautious and very aware of her surroundings so i don't know what stared up in her to make her feel like this young man was following her um but i see a lot of people calling her out on social media and they're saying well you you owe him an apology now she's turned the comments off on the original video that she posted but they are under her other comments and they're saying, well, you need to apologize to that young man. And then I saw another um, another influencer or TikToker and he was calling her out. And he was and, and to me, his his statement made me feel away because he says this is our own. He's our own. This is a young African-American um, man. And he you know, and I'm thinking to myself, well, is she not our own as well? Both parties, all parties, because remember, the baby was in her car. All parties are African American. So to me, that's a moot point. They are all our own, are they not? Um, so again, I just don't know who I believe right now. Again, he gave a very long, detailed video. It wasn't long, long. It was longer than the video that was posted. Um, to a very short video of, of a young woman saying, you know, stop following me, go on. So I don't know who I I'm not in I don't know who's telling the truth. It could be just a major misunderstanding and I hope that's all it is. But um hop down in the comments and let me know have you all um seen this story trending? What are your thoughts about it? As always, I am my sister's mirror. Talk soon. Have a great morning. Bye.